your face away from him. How can you do that? And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala corrected him and enjoined him not to do that. Can we follow the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in turning our face from the poor and not to teach them about Islam? The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam did it one time, once in his life in order to appease uh, the others, the rich people. He hoped that they may believe in that day. And I, I think he thought, he thought that after them he may teach that poor man about religion. He is already a believer, but he wants, he expect from the others to believe and enter Islam. It, this was his, his ijtihad, the ijtihad of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He thought in this way, but Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala didn't like it. This is an, an example. Allah, when Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala did not like, we cannot follow the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It shows you that we follow the commandment of Allah Azza wa Jal. We follow the Prophet, even the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, we follow him, in order to achieve uh, the rida of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in order to uh, reach, uh, in order to appease Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself. In Quran, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, قُلْ إِن كُنْتُمْ تُحِبُّونَ اللَّهَ فَاتَّبِعُونِي If you allow the only one God, then follow me. He will love you. We follow the Prophet ﷺ for Allah, not for himself, for Allah. Allah is the one who chose him. And so we follow him because the Creator. The Creator is in the center and everything for him. Alhamdulillahi, not for anyone else only for the Creator. And when you follow the, ex the practice of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, we follow them because Allah Azza wa Jal verified them and present them for us uh, and put them for us as a valid examples in our life. So Iqamatul Salah need to be done like the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam did. We cannot change it. We should do like he did. So the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Sallu kama ra'aytumuni usalli. Make prayer, do salah like how you saw me, how you see me. What I did, how I did, you should do the same as I did. Sallu kama ra'aytumuni usalli. If we put heed about these matters in salah, then we can keep the salah up in our life. Otherwise, it's, uh, we will lose the salah. Like the people, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Ada'u salat fa khalafa min ba'dihim khalfun. They lose the prayer. Maybe they were praying in their life, but the meaning of that prayer wasn't in their life. They are only doing some actions without understanding it, without realizing the meaning of that salah. Or maybe they lose it utterly. Ya bunayya aqimi salah. This is one of the most important advice of Luqman to his son. Keep up the salah in your life. And you can see the salah in the advices of Luqman. It's the fourth advice or maybe fifth. So these uh, advice by these uh, relation is important. First of all, you can say, Luqman said to his son, La tushrik billah. It should be most important than the second. In shirk al 
do not associate others with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's the most important unjust you may commit in your life. Then Allah Azza wa Jal said, وَوَصَّيْنَا الْإِنسَانَ بِوَالَدَيْهِ And we enjoined man about his parents to be respectful and dutiful to him. So this was the second after worshipping, after serving Allah alone, the Prophet uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned to be dutiful and to be good to the parents. Look how it's important. Your Creator, your Lord said that you should not worship anything or anyone beside Him. You should worship Him alone. لا تعبد إلا إياه وبالوالدين أحسانا and then you should be good you should be dutiful toward your parents like here they are together and they are important and then in the ayah number 16 Luqman said to his son that you should know إنها إن تكم إثقال حبة من خردل if a tiny thing was in a solid rock or in the heavens or in the earth you should be sure that Allah will bring it forth it's about Iman it's about knowing that the Creator, the only one God knows everything and He is in control of all things and if I commit something wrong here or there Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bring it forth we should be sure about this matter and he, in the third advice, Luqman said to his son, Be sure that your Creator controls everything and He is well aware about everything, even the footsteps of an ant in darkest night. إِنَّهَا إِنْ تَكُمْ مِثْقَالَ حَبَّةٍ مِنْ خَرْدَلٍ فَتَكُنْ فِي صَخْرَةٍ أَوْ فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ أَوْ فِي الْأَرْضِ يَأْتِ بِهَا اللَّهِ This is important. The believer should be aware about this matter. That the Creator is full aware about him. وَمَا تَتْلُو مِنْهُ مِنْ قُرْآنٍ وَلَا تَعْمَلُونَ مِنْ عَمَلٍ إِلَّا كُنَّا عَلَيْكُمْ شُهُدًا You do not do any action, but we we are, we are full aware about you. In the ayah number 17, for the fourth advice, Luqman said, Aqim salah You should have all these advice before salah. If you do not have that sound iman, your salah will mean nothing. If you do not have that respect for your mother, for your father, then your salah, you will not achieve anything from your salah. Because if you do not, if you are, if you do not respect your father, your mother, if you do not, if you are not good with them, if you disobey them, then your salah, you will lose your salah. So, this relation between these advice, if we think about it, we will understand that Luqman when he was advising his son he uh, do follow uh, a good relation between his advice Ya Bunayya Aqim Salah Oh my son keep up the prayer in your life Wa Amur Bil Ma'rufi then enjoin the good Wa Amur Bil Ma'rufi enjoin the good Advise the people to do good. If you see them something good, then spot it. وَأْمُرْ بِالْمَعْرُوفِ If someone under you, in your family or in your company, if you have the right over him, then enjoin him to do the good. وَنْهَا عَنِ الْمُنْكَرِ And prevent him from committing evil, from doing evil. The believer, every time and everywhere, the believer sports the good. We are behind the good. We are following the good. 
we are loving the good we are with the people who are good the goodness in our life we are supporting the goodness in the society the believer should support the goodness in the society the ma'roof means the goodness which is well known by the others that it is good in every society the people knows the good something good so Luqman says to his son wa'mur bil ma'roof instruct the goodness enjoin the goodness wa'mur bil ma'roofi wanhan al munkar and uh, prevent and forbid the munkar the evil if you see someone about to doing something wrong then prevent him from doing that if you have that right if you have that authority over him then prevent him from doing that evil if you do not have that authority over him then say to him not to do that action and warn him not to do that evil if you cannot say if he is such powerful and if you cannot warn him then by your heart in your heart keep away from him and not do not love him hate him this is the the last uh, degree of one hand in munkar the prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said if you ha said if you have that right do it by your hand if you cannot do it by your hand then say it by your tongue and if you cannot say it by your tongue then hate them by your heart and this is also very important in the life of the believer Luqman asked his son to do and follow this way keeping up the prayer in the life and then enjoining the good and forbidding the evil أقول قولي هذا وأستغفر الله العظيم لي ولكم ولسائر المؤمنين ربنا لا تؤاخذنا إن نسينا وأخطأنا ربنا ولا تحمل علينا إصرا كما حملته على الذين من قبلنا ربنا ولا تحملنا ما لا طاقة لنا به واعف عنا واغفر لنا وارحمنا أنت مولانا فانصرنا على القوم الكافرين والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته